Good morning, guys. Today, I'm going to teach you how to make a fringe pillow. This is the material we're gonna use today. As you can see, I've centered my pattern because I really like when I make these pillows, I like the pattern to be centered. This is a 20 by 20. And this is the fringe I'm gonna be using today. These really look very nice. And we are gonna use feathers for the fill. So it's gonna look nice and puffy. And this is the fringe we have. It comes like this. It comes all together on the top and on the bottom. And I usually use the part that is stitched like three times on the bottom. Like over here, you can see the fuss. I don't know if you can see it from there, but on the bottom, it's finished. So this is the part I'm gonna use to stitch to my fabric. And the part that opens up like this, I'm gonna use towards the outside. So once you get your fringe out, put it over here on my basket and I like to start from the bottom center of the bottom this is my pattern so I'm going to start applying the fringe from the center all the way around okay I gave myself three quarters of an inch for my seam allowance so I'm going to go about a little less than half an inch and then I'm going to stitch the fringe on the last stitch so it doesn't show. It goes inside my pillow. So I'm gonna start from the center of the bottom and I'm gonna go around. This is three quarters right here. I'm gonna use this guide so I don't move. Three quarters all around. I always like to leave the needle in when I wanna when I wanna turn around in my corner so my fringe doesn't move and I have a perfectly square corner. I'm gonna, this is my corner, still go three quarters. So I got to the end over here and in order for me to join these two ends, I'm going to cut it a little over, like maybe a quarter of an inch over, a little longer. Then I'll cut it and then I just try to join it, I'll probably get rid of one so, make, so I can make it even. Finish it. Cut whatever is left. Cut your threads. Now that I have my fringe on all four sides of my pillow, I'm gonna lay my back, my back side, and I'm gonna find the right side of the fabric. So it's going to be face of the fabric facing the face of the fabric, face and face, facing each other, bottom of the pillow. What I like to do here is I like to join the corners. So I like to go two and a half inches in on each corner. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna join the zipper side, the bottom of my pillow, but I'm only gonna go two and a half inches in and I'm gonna sew it right where my previous seam is. Two and a half inches on both ends. So I leave an opening for my zipper. See, I'm joining the corner.
Same thing on this corner. I already have prepared my zippers. I have these zippers. I cut them at 19. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna change my seat, my attachment here, and I need a new attachment for the zipper. This is the attachment we're gonna use for the zipper. It's only one-sided. So I'm gonna start putting my zipper on. This is a 19 inch zipper. So what we do here is we are going to start on the side we have applied the fringe. We're gonna start on this side. And I like to go a little over the opening over here. So I just have to make sure when I sew this together, I have to make sure my seam is gonna go on top of my first seam. It's not gonna. It's gonna go on top of this seam. This the seam we we uh, did to attach the fringe. Not over. Not not under it because otherwise it'll show. So you go on top of your seam over here. You see where your your zipper is falling. And you go over. We're gonna go over. You can leave the needle down if you want to pull the zipper pull up so you can continue. Make sure you follow your seam line. And it goes a little over on the other side. So this is what you're gonna have first. You're gonna have the first part of your zipper already on. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna join the zipper to the back of my pillow. And what I do here is I go right on the edge because that's gonna give me a little flap on the back to cover my zipper. So you can't see it from the back either. All right. Now when you turn your pillow to the right side, this is what you're gonna see. We are gonna have a little flap of fabric on the back that is gonna help us hide the zipper. So what I do here, I start with the zipper close. I go a little less than a half of an inch for my little flap. I go forward about an inch and a half and then I open my zipper so I don't so I don't catch the side of my pillow. And I'm gonna continue with this. It's a little less than a quarter of an inch flap that's gonna help me cover the zipper for, from the back. And I'm gonna continue to sew all the way to the end. And when you close it, you'll see how this actually helps you hide your zipper. And this is the look from the back. Now what I do, I go on top of my front piece 
where I can see the stitch I made with the fringe and that'll be my guide to put both pieces together. I'm gonna start joining my whole, my whole pillow now. I like to line up the design if it's possible. If you cut back and front the same, then you really want your design to align. You see how this um, pattern aligns with the next one? So, when you have a fringe, you don't, you don't really see it that much, so it doesn't have to be like a perfect match, but I still like to kind of line it up, line up the design. It just looks much prettier and it's a better finish. So I actually go over the seam I already made for my fringe. So when I turn it inside out, I don't see any stitches. I keep, I'm gonna try to keep lining this up. Tack your end real good. Once you're done with all four sides of your pillow, what I like to do, I've seen sometimes that people cut the fringe in the corner. You don't wanna do that because then this unravels and starts coming out from the other side. So what I do is I just cut my corners so I don't have a lump of material when I turn it inside out. I can cut the zipper a little so it doesn't go through my, inside my corner. So this, I like to do this with every corner. So I like to cut the excess of fabric in my corners without getting too close to my seam so it doesn't, so it doesn't open. Okay guys, now we're ready to turn our pillow inside out. And I love this because you get to see the final product almost. We're gonna turn it inside out. I like to pull the corners first so they're nice and sharp. So I pull my corners and then kind of pull the fringe so it's nice and, and sharp. I'm gonna pull my corners in. Pull my other corner in. And now the pillow is inside out. Once your pillow is inside out, this is what you get. See how pretty? But now it's gonna look even prettier when we start pulling this thread that holds the fringe together. So, from the back, we're gonna close the zipper. Let's just close the zipper so we can pull our fringe. Close the zipper. And this fringe will give you the, um, you can actually pull a thread here and it's just gonna unravel, see? one here yeah so you start pulling 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 that's gonna give you that fussy look I'm gonna pull the second row so once you get rid of the you can start shaking it and there you go your French is already on your pillow is done. You can feel it. Okay guys, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. If you have any questions, you can send me a message or you can leave me a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe. See you around.